the chef and this is pastor chef's kitchen and we are going to have a good time as we go into the month of december with a great recipe but before we get to the recipe let's see who our guest chef is today why don't you introduce yourself hi my name is sister denise brown all right sister denise brown and you are from i am from antigua originally but i live here in north carolina antigua what in the Caribbean. That's right, Antigua in the Caribbean. We want to make sure that we, we get that straight. Somebody may think that's Antigua, uh, Minnesota. We want oh. to make sure. Uh, yeah, so um, she's here, you're here, and um, you're going to show us how to, what are we making today? We are making a cheesecake with strawberry topping. Cheesecake with strawberry topping. Uh, that's right in time for Christmas. All right, right after Thanksgiving, right in time for Christmas. Um, now, who taught you how to make cheesecake? Actually, no one. I learned myself. You just learned, you just learned it all by yourself? Mm -hmm. All right, well, go ahead with your bad self. <laughs> uh, so, all right, cheesecake time. Where do we start? We're going to start with the crust. As a matter of fact, we're going to start with the pan. We're going to grease the pan and line the pan with wax paper. All right. So, this is, is this a special cheesecake pan? It's a spring form pan. It's a... Yes, it, it opens up and the... Off, so, and we, the so we open that and so, okay. I it's have close it. right now. <laughs> and we already have our parchment, we already have our parchment paper in, we already cut it, and so now we have our cheesecake pan uh, our, and parchment in it, and now we're gonna spray it. You're gonna spray so the paper will stay in the bottom. Okay, so I spray the paper. Mm -hmm. Am I spraying the side too or just the paper? Spray around oh, the okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me so we, Is that good? Just spray, just spray. Is, that, is that good? Or no, do I need more? Just spray some more. More? Yeah. Uh, all right. So we're not trying to have the, the cheesecake stick on the pan. All right, I'm just, you know, I I believe in making something stretch, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got another one. I didn't want to use the whole thing. Oh, I got another one. You Trust know, that, that's how I grew up. We didn't have a whole lot, so we had to learn how to make some stuff stretch. Trust me, I make a lot, so I have another one. Okay. I, I, I buy in bulk. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Somebody out there, the yes. way you grew up, you had to learn how to make some stuff stretch. Okay, so now we're gonna take, we're gonna measure out one and a quarter cup of graham crackers. Okay. So, um, and we're graham using the Keebler graham cracker crumbs. All right. Now, do you always buy the crumbs, or sometimes do you get the graham crackers and just mash them up? No, yourself? I always buy the crumbs. You don't want to just mash <laughs> it like, <laughs> like no, I mean it like you know longer. you had a no. When I don't have a choice, you had a, you had a yes. You had when a, I don't have a choice, like if I think I had, if I thought I had uh, crackers and I don't, uh -huh. then yes, I will mash. You go ahead and mash it up. Yes. Yeah, I mean this yes. is mashed up good too. Yes. And so is this gonna be our measuring yes, cup? Yes, that's our measuring cup. All right, and how much are we? Need a cup and a quarter. So we cup. Need one and a quarter cup. One and a quarter cup. All right. So that's one cup. Two sticks of butter already melted. So we gonna pour the butter uh -huh. on the graham cracker. Hold on, let me, let me put this up so we can, we can keep, our, keep our kitchen neat. And now, right before we started the show, we melted two sticks of butter. Now, is this butter or margarine? Margarine, you can use either. Either one? Or okay. Margarine. All right, but this, this today is butter. This today is actually margarine. Margarine, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, blue bonnet. All mm -hmm. right. And I'm going to just pour that right in there? Pour it and then you like, mix it up. Is this the consistency we want? No, we want it um, a little drier. So okay. we're just going to add, add a, little a little bit more. more. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so if you have this consistency, that means uh, it needs a little bit more. Now, I'm gonna let you add a little bit more because you know what to look for. Of this, and now I'm gonna place it in the pan. 
remind me of sweet potatoes. <laughs> it does. It reminds me of. Maybe I just so got we're gonna scrape it in the pan. Mind. Now we're just scrape it in, into we're the pan. We're gonna put it in the pan, and then we're gonna like flatten it out in the pan. So spread it all over. The all right, pan. so put it in the pan and flatten mm -hmm. it out. We flatten it out with the spoon? The back of the spoon. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, I was a little nervous. I thought you were going to say I need to flatten it out with my hands. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, it, No, we would have to put some gloves on to do that. <laughs> with, with, now, see, now you and I, we're on the same page now. So many chefs, they come in, they want to get their hands in everything. And I don't understand that, but, but yeah, I, I can appreciate your method of using a spoon or a glove. You wanna, so I'm just wanna, gonna go around. Yeah, I was gonna say you and go around the edge. Put some finishing touches on it. Yes. And the reason why we use the back of the spoon mm -hmm. is just to even the um, and it keeps crumbs. it smooth too. And exactly, exactly. Keeps it very smooth. That? Yeah, we are. You know, we are uh, simpatico when yes, it comes yes. uh, to this. Looks yes, very it good. It does. It does. So now we're gonna stick it in the oven. Okay. So going to oven already. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We gotta like. Are we cooking it or just browning? We're just browning it. Browning. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What it's gonna do? The heat is gonna put the butt because we have melted butter in it. Mm -hmm. The heat is gonna combine it and let it stay so it holds. Oh, yes. Okay. Because we have the butter in it, so it's mushy right now. All right. So we want it. What is our oven set to? 350 degrees. 350, and we're gonna put it in for about five minutes to brown. All right. Okay. So while that is browning. All right. Do we need this for anything else? No, we're finished with this bowl. So we're gonna add Four packages of cream cheese. Four? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, that's a lot of cream cheese. Did you uh, contact any of your of your family for Thanksgiving? Yes, yes. Did y'all do phone or Zoom or both? No, we didn't do Zoom. No Zoom. We, we just talked on the phone and they were mad because they couldn't have the food. So they didn't want to see any other pictures. Oh, you were showing them food they couldn't eat? Rubbing it in their face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you call her and say, hey, look at this good food you can't get to. <laughs> that was my daughter. My daughter didn't do that. They post the pictures. Oh, okay. So you pour it in the bowl. Now, what city is your daughter in? She's here with me. She's right here in Phil. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to add three tablespoons of flour. Three tablespoons. Oh, our five minutes is up. Thank you so much to our sous chef. Yes, that's good. Okay. Extract. Not imitation okay. vanilla. I don't use imitation vanilla. Not imitation, but, but the real deal. vanilla extract. Yes. Okay. It's a little different. Does it? Mm -hmm. Nah, I was like, man, this is gonna kill my arm to try no, to do No, because it would kill me, no. All right, well listen, you go ahead, because I, I know you have the, uh, the mixing technique down. Together, we're gonna add our eggs one by one. Now, How many eggs? Four eggs. Four eggs? Four large eggs. But we gotta do it 
one at a time. One, one mix it in, one mix it in. So it makes it good. Okay. So you have to exercise some patience here. Mm-hmm. See, if you had a mix of bowls mm -hmm. that goes by itself, you know, and everything, you or you just stand in. up and crack your egg and keeps going. But when you have the handheld mixer, you gotta stop. I got it. In. I got it. Like with Sister McKeever came. Yeah. She had that. Yeah, that. Uh, all right, so just crack it and crack it in. Okay. okay. Flour, all right. But the sour cream, that's the surprise. That's the surprise to the recipe. So how much of this are we going to add? The whole container. The whole thing? Mm -hmm. Eight okay. ounces. The whole, eight ounces. Mm -hmm. All right, eight ounces of sour cream. Got it. Did you know sour cream goes in cream? You'll be surprised on some of the stuff that goes in cake. It started out looking looking rough. That, that cream cheese was kind of stiff in there, but you yes, worked it and you yes. worked it and we once added, you added it. Once you add the egg and everything, then it's like softening up mm -hmm. and you got your mixture, your consistency. So normally when um when I make cheesecake, I actually bake it in a hot water bag. Because it prevents the cheesecake from cracking. Hold on, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Back up for, for a minute. I didn't. When you make cheesecake, yes. You do what now? I bake it in a hot water bag. In so, a hot water bag. Yes. Okay. So I have a pan mm -hmm. with hot water. So I put foil paper out over this pan, mm -hmm. and I put it in the hot water. In the pan of hot water, put it in the And what does that do? It prevents the cheesecake from cracking. Really? Mm -hmm. So you know. Like, because you just don't want it to taste good. It got to look right, too, right? Yes. Yeah, see, you know, <laughs> me and you, we, cause, because the, the look, the presentation is is everything. Yes. And that's why you were showing those, that's why you were showing those pictures to, to your family. Because they, because they look good. I understand, I understand more and more. And they know, and they, some of them wanted to see what I cooked. Okay. What I made. But one didn't want to because she couldn't get it. I get it. So I we're going to scrape the mixture and the pan. Okay, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll hold it. Okay. You scrape it. Okay. Y'all let me know. What cake other than cheesecake can you put in the oven for an hour and, what is that, 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. Hour 15 minutes and it not burn. Let me know, because I'm not sure what cake that is. I'm not saying it don't exist. I'm just saying you, you need to let me know. So what are we doing now? Now that we have it in there. Once we wrap this in aluminum foil, we're going to put it in the hot water bath and put it in the oven. OK. All, All right. right. So we're going to. So because it's a spin foam bottom, mm -hmm. we don't want any water to get in, in the crack and wet the, um, the crust. Okay. And then the crust will be soft and it, it won't be. Okay, so just to clarify exactly what we're doing, we're wrapping the pan to make sure no water or moisture can get around the bottom of it and crack the, the crust. Mm -hmm. Okay. There, and there is a, and there's a wet. method to all of this. There's, yes. there's a very, specific method I see to everything that you do with it. Now it let me ask you this. This may this may be nothing, but I have to ask. You see this right here? This this right that little bit on the edge mm -hmm. right there. Do oh, we I'm need to move that so yes. it doesn't burn? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. See I trust me I was gonna get it. Yeah <laughs> I, I figured you were as meticulous <laughs> as you've been but I was like we don't wanna have the whole thing looking Got it. Now we're good to go. Why does the water have to be hot if we're putting it in the oven and the oven's Because you don't want the water already hot. Okay. You don't want the water cold. Because once you put this in the oven, 
it starts to cook in. Okay. The water has the water. So we don't want the water to have to catch up. Exactly. We want it already hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the method to it all. Okay. But I had to ask because we question. need to know. Yeah, we, we, because somebody's gonna be like, well, I'm gonna just put some water exactly. in it and keep going, exactly. but now exactly. they know. Mm -hmm. Now they know you need to exactly. have the water hot. That's, that's a good, very good question. Mm-hmm. Water is already hot. Okay. All right. We we'll put it in there for an hour and 15 minutes. And in an hour and 15 minutes, we go watch some Love After Lockup. No? We go watch some, uh, uh some, Look, exactly. some, some Law and Order. Law and Order, order Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds, okay. Mm -hmm. Some, uh, rerun of First Take. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what, what's the one with, uh, Shannon Sharp? Uh, Undisputed. Oh, I'd love to see that. It, it's, it, it's a um, debate, it's a sports debate show. Oh. Cause, come on over here, I, I want you to see us work, working on this bath water. I mean, this, uh, what is it? Pour some hot of water hot, bath. Hot water bath, yeah. All right, so, so, so some of this needs to go out, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Ooh, it is hot. Yes. It is hot. Less than that. Yes. All right. Less than that. A little bit more. You don't want the pan to sweat. Oh. Uh, it might need. It might need less than that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, that should be good. That's good. Mm -hmm. You sure that? That yeah. seems like a lot too. Mm -hmm. It's good. But although it's I good am, because um, the fried, the when you put it in, the fried paper mm -hmm. is because the fried paper is all the way up above the pan. Okay. So it's not going to come above the pan. All right. Well. All right. I was gonna, I was gonna bring this over there, but you brought that over here. All right. And we just sit it mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. That, that works. You, you got that? Because mm -hmm. uh, normally, I, um, the water is boiling in the kettle, so I already set the cake in the pan, and then I just throw the water in. So we're going to put it in the oven. Okay. All right. And all right, so it's in there, 350, hour and 15 minutes. So um, we'll see you in hour and 15 minutes. All right, time to take it out. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that is a work of culinary art. Didn't crack. It's looking good. Looking very good. Very uh, good. So what do we do? What do we do now? Because cheesecake is normally served hot. So what do we do now? Cold. So once you take it out of the oven, mm -hmm. you don't let it cool for 15 minutes before you put it in the refrigerator for uh, so it can completely set. And All you right. normally do that for five out three to five hours of okay. overnight. Okay. All right, so let it sit 15 minutes, mm -hmm. take it out, let it cool for five hours or overnight. Yeah, you put it in the refrigerator so it will completely set. Okay. Because it has to it has to go in the refrigerator to completely set. Okay. It completes the cooking process. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll give it that 15 and we're gonna we're gonna work a little magic. We'll, we'll be right back. All right, so it's time to take now, what is this called? Spring foam pan. A spring foam pan. All right. Um, we're going to undo it. And is that it? Mm -hmm. What do I do? I just lift it up? Mm -hmm. All right. That looks like a very good 
good cheesecake. <laughs> that was like a very good cheesecake. So now that we have it out of our spring pan and oh look at it. Yeah, get get in closer on that. That is a good looking cheesecake. Now, so. Normally. So it's ready. I, yes, it is ready. Normally, I don't leave it on the pan, but you can. I don't leave it on the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. But you can. I normally put it on a cake board. Well, show us how, how you normally know put it on the cake board so that we all know what a good technique to uh, moving it off of the uh, spring pan thing oh. here. I don't know why I can't remember what it is. Spring, spring form. Spring what? Spring form. Yeah, that. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just only put a piece of fried paper. Okay. Over it. And I just then I'll pull it to the edge of the table. I feel like I'm getting ready to watch a magic trick. <laughs> I gotta get it. Then I'm gonna flip it. It's solid enough to flip? Yes. It is. I, okay. So I'm, what I do, I normally just, just tap it around. Okay. Because it what that does, it release the paper from the pan. Okay. It came right off. Mm-hmm. Then and then we have our parchment paper at the, the bottom. bottom. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got, you got to come get, get a close up of this, bro. Get, get a close up of this technique she used. Go, go ahead. So, In order to get the paper off. I just use this, and I go around, so I'm not disturbing the crust. No, you don't want to disturb the crust. There you go. The crust being too good too. Yes. You don't want to disturb. So now it. I get the cake board. And I put it on the bottom. Of All the right. Crust. In in the center. Then, so you make sure it's in the center. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Then go back to right here again at the edge. Match. Flip it. Cheesecake match. There it there is. Go. That was that was impressive. <laughs> That was impressive. There you go. I can tell that was not your first, uh, your first attempt. Now, okay. It's gonna, it's gonna spread up by itself. All right. Uh huh. Okay, lucky leaf. Cheesecake is good when you can cut it and take it out with a knife. That's how you know. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's how we know then. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You ready to put it to the ultimate test? Yes. <laughs> and the ultimate test is always the taste test. Mm -hmm. So there's a fix for you, All right, let's pray. Lord, thank you for our guest chef for coming to lend her culinary talents to our kitchen. Please bless the food used for the nourishment of our life. Amen. All right, here we go. You know what? I'm gonna get a bite where I get everything. Crust, Crust cheesecake, yes. strawberry. I mean, this is some really good cheesecake. Like, cheesecake ain't, ain't even my thing, but this is some really good cheesecake. I can't wait to get this home to Savannah. Like I said, Savannah loves cheesecake. You know what? Funny you should say that. When I was in Korea, my chief didn't eat cheesecake. 
we had something at work mm -hmm. and they wanted cake. So I made a cheesecake and I made a pineapple upside down cake. She liked that. She liked, oh, I need cheesecake. So I left and came back and she was like, you know, I went and I had a little slice. <laughs> and I couldn't even finish before I went back and I got another slice. She said, I don't even eat cheesecake. It's good. It, it, it's good. This is a cheesecake for people that don't even eat cheesecake right here. Listen, if you want to try a good cheesecake, this is the recipe. It should be in the description, whether you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube or however it is that you're accessing this. Thank you again, Sister Denise, for coming and for sharing this recipe with us. Thank you, uh, Sister Brown. And to Sister Rich, we hope you uh, get better and feel well soon. You're probably feeling better already. And we will see you next time on Pastor. What are we? It's a surprise. Oh, it's a surprise. Okay, it's a surprise. And I got a surprise for y'all too it could coming up. But thank you for joining us. We'll see you on the next episode of Pastor Show. Be blessed. Stay safe.